Be prudent. Always act with foresight. Proverbs 22 and verse 3. A prudent man foresees evil and hides himself. But the simple pass on and are punished. As we consider what it means to be prudent and the traits of prudence, one of the things we see here, which the book of Proverbs teaches us, is that a prudent man foresees evil and hides himself. But the simple pass on and are punished. So there's a contrast here. A prudent person and a simple person. A simple person just goes on in life. They're not looking way up ahead. They're not looking out into the future. And they are unable to avoid things that could destroy them. And they're unable to be preventive or preemptive. And they end up being destroyed. Whereas the prudent person foresees evil. That means he has, or he or she has foresight. They're looking way up ahead. They're looking at possible dangers. They're looking at possible situations that they need to, they need to preempt or they need to take uh, action ahead of time, that they need to take precaution against. So they have foresight. They act with foresight. And so they're able to foresee danger and are able to protect themselves, defend themselves, and make sure that they are not hurt or endangered in any way. So here's another characteristic of being prudent. It is having foresight and acting ahead of time and being preemptive rather than reactive or worse still, not acting at all and just passing on and facing disaster. So have foresight, because that is being prudent. That is having prudence. Now, how do you apply this in our lives? Now, as a college student, you need to look way beyond just the academic year in which you are in or the immediate exam that's coming up. You need to be thinking about the finals. The finals may be six months away, but what you do today can help you uh, achieve better results in the finals, which are still a year away or six months away. That is prudence. As a, a young professional, you look ahead two years, three years into your career, and you begin to make choices now that will help you position yourself uh, in a better place three years from now, four years from now, so you could be uh, in a place where you want to be. That's prudence. You're having foresight and you're taking action today in preparation for time yet to come. The same way, uh, we need to be prudent in different areas of our lives, as a businessman, as a manager, as a team leader, or whatever your capacity or role is in your workplace or in your home and your family, be prudent, have foresight. A prudent man foresees evil and hides himself. He has foresight and he takes preemptive action to prepare for the time that's up ahead. Have foresight, that's being prudent. Let's pray. Lord, we ask you that you help us, Lord, to look into the future and to think about the future and to prepare ourselves for what's still up ahead. Give us prudence and help us to be prudent, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.